Hey y'all, it's Jesse from Dayton Suit Studios and welcome to episode 4 of Not So Short Shorts. In this episode, I'll be covering how to remove noise in DaVinci Resolve, so let's go! Open Resolve and drag in your media. I'm going to use this shot from our award-winning short film, Paralleled. This video will be covering how to reduce noise in both the studio and the free version of DaVinci Resolve. We'll start with the studio method. Go to the color tab, zoom in to an area with the most obvious grain. As you can see, this clip here is pretty grainy, so at the bottom left, click on the Motion Effects tab. The first setting, Frames, is how many frames you want Resolve to analyze. I'm going to choose three. On the Motion Estimation type, there are two options, Faster and Better but basically faster would be a better option for more low-end systems. Since I have a relatively high-end system, I'll choose better. There's not a ton of motion in this shot, so I'll set the motion range to low. Now under Temporal Threshold, bring up the Luma and Chroma to whatever looks best. This would typically be around 15 to 20. You can go higher, but it may cause some softness in your overall footage. Once that grain is smoothed out, you're pretty much done. I just wanna be appreciated. And now for the free version. In the free version of DaVinci Resolve, go to the Fusion page, press Shift Space, and select the Remove Noise tool. In this tool, there's two methods. The Color method helps with colored noise, while the Chroma helps with Chroma noise. I'm going to use Chroma because there's not a whole lot of color. Once you click on Chroma, there are all these fancy settings, but to make it a whole lot simpler, just hit Lock. This will show you just two levels, Softness and Detail. These settings don't really need to be explained, so just experiment with them until you get the result you want. Now you don't want to go too far, or your footage may become blurry. So stop as soon as most of the grain disappears. This shot is pretty grainy, so I went ahead and bumped both all the way up. And we're done. 